Hi fellas, this is Jagbir Singh and today we are going to learn how to add new currency in Autodesk Quantity Takeoff. So when you will be uh, doing any project on Autodesk Quantity Takeoff, you will notice that uh, or this project is only limited to use uh, 9 currencies of different different countries uh, by default into the software. But if you want to add any new currency, if your country's currency is not available in this software, then how you can add your own currency into the software. So we will be taking care of that. Let's say I am taking a new project named ABC. So uh, this is the unit system which one you want to choose, imperial or metric, whichever suits you better. And when you go for the uh, currency, by default it is US dollar and when you scroll down this then there are nine different different currencies available uh, us dollar euro yen ruble and there are australian dollar so there are so many con countries uh, whose uh, currencies are not listed here but don't worry you can create a number of currencies uh, in this particular software so let's do it uh, for um, for instance there is no indian rupees so i will what i will be doing i will create a new currency for indian rupees the, you can uh, add uh, your country's uh, currency in this by following the same step so i am just closing this software here so what you have to do you have to go to your uh, program files so i am going with my c drive so you have to go to c drive and in C drive you have to go to users and in users whatever user of your system uh, you have created for example mine is Lenovo so I am going with this and uh, now you have to go for app data and local and in local you will find Autodesk it is right here and here you have to go for Autodesk Quantity Takeoff 2013, 12 or whatsoever version you are using. So you have to go inside that. Then you will find this folder. And inside that folder you will find a uh, file, XML file with name currencies. So this is the fold, uh, this is the file which is responsible for those currencies which are listed under the currency tab so you have to do modification in this particular file so i suggest you open this file with notepad and so here you can list there are nine currencies these lines are responsible for those uh, for the availability of the currency listed into in, under the currency tab so here you can see us dollar euro and all those uh, uh, like uh, uh, currency symbols are because of this programming so what we have to do we have to copy one currency for example I am copying this and copy it and go to your desktop we are not playing with the actual file because uh, I don't want to like delete or like do some modification because it is like kind of programming so uh, I will be making a new notepad file mm, let's go for notepad here and I am just pasting the line which is responsible for one particular currency so here what is the prefix and what is the suffix for example you for US dollar it is USD and uh, for prefix it is the symbol of that US dollar then unit is imperial language ENU English US dollar currency whatsoever so what we have to do we have to change this prefix as Indian symbol so if you don't know how to make uh, Indian rupee symbol then you can go for control plus alt button plus 4 on your keyboard then it will be replaced with the rupee symbol then suffix is here it is USD but for Indian rupees it is INR 
sorry i n r and there should not be any space then unit is same and uh, instead of us dollar you have to type i n d i a n rupee the same way you can type like whatsoever is your currency name or suffix and prefix so you have to do these two ch three changes in the currency line and you just have to copy it again and again you have to go to the actual currency file so here you will see you can make one more uh, one sp uh, like one space for one more line and you have to paste the line you have created and you have to bring it with space you have to adjust it and you have to simply save this file and just close your file this is your practice file so it's not required you save it or not so now you have to go back to your software with the changes you made let's see how it reflects so now again I'm going for a new project and let's say XYZ next now you can see the currency which I added is already coming here I can choose Indian rupee sorry and uh, the likewise you can uh, add your country's currency this is following these simple steps so this is uh, that's it in this video and I just want to request you if you like this then you have please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and I will be creating a series uh, of tutorials for Autodesk quantity takeoff from the beginner level to the tough one so you please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whenever I will be posting a new video you will be getting the notification and if you have any doubt any topic in mind uh, you are most welcome to drop it into the comment section so that I can make a video for you thank you so much this is Jagbir Singh signing off Jai India Jai Bharat